Today, I will show you how I made and installed this 3D printed drag chain for my 3D printer. I started out by printing all of the pieces. This is not my own design. I actually downloaded it from a website called umagine.com, but I will put the link in the description so that you can print it yourself. For this print, I used the brim for all the small pieces not to get loose from the print bed. I also used support and 25% infill. Once the printing was done, I used a plastic spatula to remove it from the print bed. Then I used some wire snips to take away off the brim and support material. You can see that I actually broke a couple of pieces, because even with the 25% infill, these pieces are still a bit fragile. So later on, I had to print some extra to replace the ones I broke. This process took a long time, and you had to be very careful not to break the pieces. But at the end, they were very clean and very good looking. You can see that there are actually two different types of links. You want to keep them separate to make the assembly easier. Here you can see how I printed out the replacement parts for the ones I broke. And I repeated the same cleanup process. Once I had all of my pieces laid out, I removed the zip ties holding the existing cable mesh to the printer. I also moved the print head up to about halfway and flipped the printer around to make the next steps easier. Using the same wire snips I used to clean up the parts, I cut the wire mesh where it meets the C-axis, making sure not to cut any cables. And then I used the small scissors on my multi-tool to cut the mesh in half. Again, making sure not to cut any cables along the way. Then I removed the three screws on the front of the extruder to take off the motor, and I installed the motor linking mount. I just put the three screws back on and flipped it back around. And after that I simply rewired some of the cables. Then I measured and cut to length some of the wire mesh that I had cut before to wrap the cables from the probe, the hot end and the fan. And I secured it in place using some zip ties. Then I started putting together all of the different links that make the direction, making sure that I alternate between the two different types of links. Once I got it to land, I simply added some zip ties where there were before to keep it from moving. And that's it. Now you have a working drag chain that will help the cables be more organized, last longer, and to be honest, just makes the whole thing look cooler. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one every week. Also, post in the comments below what you would like to see me build next.